Hello and welcome. Let's make a simple, minimal intro for your video, which I'm dragging into shortcut right now. I'm going to enable the timeline, drag the video to the timeline. As per usual, uh, we're going to enable filters. All right. And I'm going to go to view and uh, show title bars and view show toolbar. So we have a maximum amount of space. All right, we're going to move this a bit to the right in the timeline. And I'm going to go to uh, file, open other, so we're going to add a black image, so to speak, basically just an empty title. So we're going to go to generator. And here we want color. And we're just gonna wait a second, this is transparent. Uh, let's just go for black, I should be setting this as six zeros and two F's. But for some reason, this also worked. No presets, huh? Well, let's save it as black, All right? And okay. Okay, now I have to drag it from over here to the timeline. I don't want to overwrite everything. So I'm just going to drag it over here zoom out. And now we're just gonna grab this clip by the right edge and drag it to the left. It's way too long. The tooltip tells us how long it is 4.27. That's fine. Let's zoom back in control mouse wheel, drag this to the left. And uh, let's just save a project for good measure always a good thing to do. We're gonna call it intro.mlt. And let's see, I think four seconds. Yeah, let's go to four seconds, press S to split it, delete this part, remove the silence. All right, now we're going to select this little black clip and add a filter. And the filter we want is in the video category. Show video filters, there should be a monitor icon down here or something, something like that. We're going to go to text or is it title? No, I think it's text. Yeah, here it is going to pick text. And instead of time code, we're going to write something open source bug, we can resize this area. So we have more control. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna select that it is a vertical in the middle, and we're going to reduce its size, let's say 152. Now we can drag this into a center, uh, we will just adjust the vertical position to zero. And to be exact, we can set this to this and then let's calculate the difference between this and uh, 1920 400. So we want exactly 200. Then it's completely centered. We can now switch the font. Let's go for yeah, Ubuntu medium. Ubuntu medium is good. Let's make it now nah, we're gonna go with medium. And okay. And actually, I have a little uh, sound clip I want to use. So actually, let me create an audio track first, I'm going to resize this, add the audio track to uh, the source view. Okay, source view, we're going to drag it from there to the timeline, which doesn't work. Well, at this point, we're just going to save and restart the project. All right, let's try it again. There we go. Now this is way too loud. So I'm gonna let's see, filter, audio, gain volume, and then we're going to reduce this by I think minus minus 16. Yeah. So this is already an intro, but we want uh, there to be a fade in. So for that, let me just resize all this shift mouse wheel to make it smaller. All right, uh, control mouse wheel to zoom in, we're going to add a fade in and fade out filter. All right, let me just save again always saving. And now add filter. And this time again, video filter, scroll down a little, it's alphabetical. So go to F, fade in video, and add another filter fade out video. And if we take a look now. Yep, that's good. And now as a bonus, we can, for example, uh, get rid of a fade out video and instead drag. Huh drag the horse clip, uh, I mean, our video onto our intro, and try it again. So maybe that's what you feel like doing. And as a bonus, yet another bonus. We're gonna at this point where the music changes, we're gonna add a subs uh, subscribe reminder. So let's create a new uh, video track. 
and we're gonna create we're gonna try to create a transparent uh, layer over here let me just save again and go to file open other color and uh, we're gonna create uh, zero zero this is actually what I want let's see if we can save it let's call it transparent all right uh, let's see if this really works we created it we drag it into the timeline and we jump back to the beginning and it works we have a clip here on top of uh, the open source bug stuff that is transparent so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it around here then we're gonna jump to the next uh, cut with alt right key hold down alt and use the right arrow key I think here is a good position so let's split it here again and now we're gonna get rid of this part okay remove works fine this part we don't want to remove we want to instead delete it with a delete key on the keyboard this way this part doesn't jump to the left all right now we're gonna add text so let's let's save once again I'm using Control S to save save right we're gonna copy a filter we're gonna copy the text filter just to save a little bit of time and paste it in here now let's hope it works. okay we don't want these uh, let's remove this remove this save again and we want to change of course the text to subscribe now um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the size of this actually yeah yeah let's reduce the width once more whoops that's like 10 times as small as I wanted it and we're gonna just drag it below all right I mean good enough good enough for me and now what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to change the font color so just click on the font color field we're gonna make it annoying red a bit whitish annoying red and here it is so if we play this back now personally I like how it jumps into the screen rather than fading in but I think at the end it should fade out definitely so we're gonna add a video effect fade out here it is fade out and let's play this again All right, and now we have a little problem here. It fades to black and then it disappears. That is too bad. But hopefully this here setting works. Let's just control S again. Enable this. Oh yeah, it totally works. Wonderful. Here we go. All right, I like this. This is good enough for me. Actually, let's reduce the uh, duration of this fade out. Maybe 20 frames. Yep, yep, I like this. So here you go. Here you have your simple minimalistic intro, easy to make and shortcut completely. And if you don't create this crossfade effect, you might actually want to pre-render it and just paste the video file. So you just have less uh, things to worry about. That is it. I hope this helped. Please subscribe to support this channel and have fun making intros. Until next time. Ciao.